Hey guys, welcome back to Token Tech. Today, I want to do a video talking about this cooler right here. So this is the stock cooler that comes in every uh, AMD CPU from the 3700X, 3800X, and 3900X. And I think it might even come with a 3950X that comes out in just a couple weeks. Um, this is the Wraith Prism, I believe, and it has a lot of RGB and other things, but to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this cooler. A lot of people have given this cooler a lot of praise, and rightly so, because it comes free in the box with these CPUs. And to be honest, they are adequate. They'll get the job done, they just don't do the best job of cooling your CPU. I, I know that's what they're supposed to do, but they do a fine job, just not the best. Or good in my opinion just adequate okay so before I get into it, I just want to go over some of the basics of it it's a very small cooler as you can see it's it's not that large um, it has a small fan on it it's not like 120 or anything I think it might be 90 millimeters or something like that um, it's RGB so there's an RGB ring I believe the AMD logo lights up and the fan itself lights up as well and it's all controllable through the motherboard so pretty cool if you like that sort of thing this thing will look really nice and it'll be right in your system because it's so small you have total access to the RAM and clearance for the power connectors and the PCIe slots and all that stuff and what's actually pretty good about these downward firing um, coolers is that they blow air all over your RAM and power delivery that's all around the CPU keeping it cool so it can actually help with that as well um, however the negatives really start when you get to this mounting bracket this thing is pretty an, like awful to use so it almost feels like you're breaking it when you're using it so be careful with that as well um, but really it comes down to cooling performance this thing is decent when you're not doing much or if you're doing things like gaming it'll be okay but I installed it in my system because I kinda got bored with my system and I took all the liquid cooling out just like a week ago and put in all the air cooling and I tried this CPU out it looked really cool with the RGB but when I opened up OBS, so I only had OBS running, nothing else running, just OBS on the desktop, recording the desktop, I opened up the temperatures, and what I found was that this CPU just running OBS was hitting uh, 83 degrees Celsius with no sign of it stopping. It was going to continue to get hotter, and this was running at maximum fan speed. So I was a little bit taken off by that. I was kind of blown away. Um, I had such a reaction to it that I didn't even think about testing it. I don't even have that footage anymore, unfortunately. I took all of the air cooling out, put all my water cooling back in just to double check, and doing the same thing with OBS on the desktop, I found that I was getting 62 to 68 degrees Celsius and not anywhere near 80 degrees Celsius, let alone over 80 degrees Celsius like this cooler was doing. So again, I think this might be fine for something like gaming, basic computing, but once you get into doing things like OBS, streaming, recording, uh, video rendering, things like that, this cooler is going to be at its limit. And remember, this is a 3800X, not a 3900X or a 3950X. This is only an 8-core CPU. And just to break it to you, this was running at 3.9 gigahertz. It's not even boosting at all. It was just at its base clock, and it was still getting that hot with this cooler. So I just want to warn you guys out there who are thinking that you're just going to get this and you're going to start live streaming with your CPU and doing all that crazy stuff. I really wouldn't recommend it with this cooler. I would recommend going out and getting a better cooler, like a Noctua cooler. Um, what is it called? A Be Quiet cooler. Uh, who else makes good coolers? Well, of course, you have liquid cooling and all that stuff. Any of those good coolers, really nice coolers, will do the trick. But this one will not. This will get you by. It's great that it comes free. Um, if you just want a game and use basic computing stuff, this will be just fine. But if you're trying to be a streamer, if you're trying to record stuff, if you're trying to render videos, if you're trying to do overclocking and stress testing and things like that, this cooler is not for you. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What have you found with this cooler? Have your temperatures been better than mine? Um, let me know down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.